So what's your writing process like? What's your thinking <laughs> and writing process like every day? So, um, what's your routine even? My, I, yeah, I, I guess it's actually uh, the best question because I, I spend seven days a week uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're the, doing it. Uh, you're the most prepared uh, to answer it. Yeah, uh, yeah but uh, okay. So uh, uh, the chair I'm sitting in is where I do. <laughs> it's where the magic happens. <laughs> well, uh, uh, re reading and writing. The, the chair is usually sitting over there where I have other book or some reference book. But but uh, I, I found this chair. Uh, which was designed by a Swedish guy anyway. It turns out this is the only chair I can really sit in for hours and hours and not know that I'm in a chair. But then I have the stand-up desk right next next to us, and, and so after I write something with pencil and eraser, I get up and I type it and revise and rewrite. Uh, 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 I'm standing up. The kernel of the idea is first put on paper. Yeah. That's where... Right. And I, I'll write uh, maybe five programs a week, uh, uh, of course, literate programming. And uh, th these are, before I describe something in my book, I always program it to see how it's working, and I, and I try it a lot. So, for example, I learned uh, at the end of January, I, l I learned of a, of a breakthrough by four Japanese people who had extended one of the one of my methods in a, in a new direction, and so I I spent the next five days writing a program to implement what they did, and then I you know the, but I, they had only generalized part of what I had done, so then I had to see you know, if I could generalize more parts of it, and then I and I had to take their approach, and I had to I had to try it out on a couple of dozen of the other uh, problems I had already worked out with the, with my old methods. And so that took another couple of weeks, and then I, you know, then I then I started to see the light, and I and uh, and I started writing the the final draft, and uh, and then I would uh, you know type it up. It involved some new mathematical questions, and so I wrote to my friends and who who might be good at solving those pr problems, and and uh, they solved some of them, and so I th put that in as exercises and. And so a month later, I had absorbed one new idea that I that I learned, and uh, you know I'm glad I heard about it in time. Otherwise, my I would have put my book out before I'd heard about the idea. On the other hand, this book was supposed to come in at 300 pages, and I'm up to 350 now. That added 10 pages to the book. But if I learn about another one, uh, I, my publisher is going to shoot me. <laughs> well. So in that process, in that one month process, are some days harder than others? Are some days harder than others? Well, th yeah. My work is fun, but I also work hard, and every big job has parts that are a lot more fun than others. And so I'll, many days I'll say, why do I have to have such high standards? You know, why, why couldn't I just be sloppy and not try this out and, and you know just, just report the answer? But I, but I know that... Um, uh, that people are counting me to do this, and so okay, so okay, Don, I'll grit my teeth and do it, and 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 then the joy comes out when I see that actually, you know, I'm getting good results, and 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 I get, and I even more when I see that somebody has actually read and understood what I wrote and uh, told me how to make it even better. I did want to mention uh, something about the uh, about the method. So I got this. Tablet here, where wow. where I do the first, you know, the first writing uh, of of concepts. Okay, so so. Um, and what language it, is that it, in? <laughs> right. So here, you can take a look at it. But you know, here, random say, explain how to draw such skewed pixel diagrams. Okay, so I got this paper. Mm -hmm. About forty years ago, when I was visiting my sister in Canada, and they make tablets of paper with this, with this nice, large size and just the and right a very uh, small space between lines. Small you spaces, mind if I yeah, yeah. Take a look. Maybe uh, also just show it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You know, I've got these manuscripts going Catching back to the sixties. Yeah. <laughs> 
And 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 those are when I'm getting my ideas on paper, okay. But I'm a good typist. In fact, I went to typing school when I was uh, when I was in high school, and so I can type faster than I think. So then, when I do the the editing and you know, stand up and type, then I then I revise this, and, and it comes out a lot different than what for, you know for for style and rhythm and things like that come out at the at the typing stage. And you type in tech. And I type in tech. And know. can you th- can you think in tech? No. So to a certain extent, I have I have only a small number of of idioms that I use. Like you know, I'm beginning with theorem. I do something for e- displayed equation. I do something and and so on. But I, but I I have to see it and in the way that it's on paper it's, it, here. Yeah. Right. So for and, example, Turing wrote what the other direction. You don't mm. write uh, macros. Uh, you don't think in macros. Not particularly, but when I need a macro, I'll go, uh, I'll go ahead and and, and, and do it. But but the, but the thing is that I also write to fit. I mean, I'll I'll change something if I can if I can save a line. I'll you know it's like haiku. I'll figure out a way to rewrite the sentence so that uh, it'll look better on the page. Mm. And uh, I shouldn't be wasting my time on that, but uh, but I can't resist because I know uh, it's only another three percent of the time or something like that. And it could also be argued that that is what life is about. Ah, yes. In fact, that's true. Uh, uh, <laughs> like like I, I work in the garden one day a week, and that's that's kind of a description of my life: is getting rid of weeds, you know, <laughs> removing bugs from programs and. So, you know, a lot of writers talk about, you know, basically suffering, the writing process is yeah. having, you know, it's extremely difficult. And I think of programming, especially the or technical writing that you're doing can be like that. Do you find yourself methodologically, how do you every day sit down to do the work? Is it a challenge? You You kind of say it's, you know, oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> but it'd be interesting to hear if yeah, if so, there are non-fun parts that you really struggle with. Yeah, so the the fun comes when when I'm able to put together ideas of two diff, two people who didn't know about each other and and yeah. and so I, I might be the first person that saw both of their ideas and and so then you know, you know then then I get to make the synthesis and that gives me a chance to to be creative. But the dredge work is where I I've got to chase everything down to its root. This leads me in, into really interesting stuff. I mean, I I learn about Sanskrit and I yeah. and and you know I try to give credit to all the authors, and so I write le- so I write to people who who, who know the the people if authors if they're dead. Or I I communicate this way. I and uh, I got to get the math right. And I got to tack all my programs, try to find holes in them, and I rewrite the programs over after I get a better idea. Is there ever dead ends? Dead ends? Oh yeah, I, I throw stuff out. Yeah, but one of the things that I I spent a lot of time preparing a major example based on the game of baseball, and I know a lot of people who for whom baseball is the most important thing in the world you know it, yes. but it's, but I also know a lot of people for whom cricket is the most important in the world or or or, or soccer or something you know okay, or, yeah. uh, and and I realized that if if I had a big example I mean it was going to have a fold out illustration and everything I was saying well what what am I really teaching about algorithms here where I had this 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 baseball example and if I was a person who who know who knew only cricket wouldn't they what would they think about this and, and so so I've ripped the whole thing out but I you know I had I, I had a something that would have really appealed to people who grew up with baseball as 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 a, as a major theme in their life which is a lot of people but but just yeah so, well, still so, a minority small minority I took out bowling too uh, <laughs> Even a smaller minority. 